Hey everyone, I'm here at the Porsche Camp 4 Winter Driving Experience. This is the 30th anniversary of all-wheel drive in Porsche cars. We're just north of Montreal, about an hour north of Montreal. Um, this whole facility is actually a year-round facility, but for the entirety of winter, it's Porsche's playground. The facility, a sprawling motorsports park nestled in the heart of French-Canadian ski country, is called Mecca Glisse. Every February, it is taken over by Porsche to play host to Camp 4 Canada, a cold-weather driving school where students pilot winterized 911s under the tutelage of instructors like Porsche Le Mans factory driver Keys Nira. Some 911s have pampered lives, getting safely stowed away in the garage for winter, but not these. Brand new rear-drive 911 Carrera S's and all-wheel drive Carrera 4 S's, with grills missing, wearing studded Nokian Hakapalians. Both variations sport 420 horsepower, 3 liter twin turbo flat sixes in the back, and neither of them can be had for under six figures. Having grown up in Southeast Michigan, winter driving is hardly new for me. But this program is a far cry from the front-wheel drive throttle lift half donuts that I thought made me look like a badass in high school. The day begins with big long drifts in a 911 C4S. Tragically, I goofed up and cut one of my own runs short. Oh, I got it there. I did not call the plane for you, but too late you're oh. right. But this wasn't terribly complicated. I was easily able to get it right with just a few tries. There you go. There you go. All right, we gotta get off. There you go. <laughs> See? Yeah, holding a four-wheel drift is enough to put a dumb smile on anyone's face. Next up, a serpentine exercise to really hammer on the fundamentals of weight transfer. So the process. We call it TVA. Turn, brake, accelerate. So I'm gonna try. I gotta come in with enough speed that I can get sideways. Okay, so come in wide of the cone. Turn, brake, accelerate. Ooh. Yeah, to be honest, I'm not great at this, but it seems I can still kind of get it right so long as I'm aggressive enough. Not smooth, but at least I can get the tail out. Well, that was some kind of better. But when we transition to the rear drive cars for the Scandinavian flick, things get harder. All right, here we go. This is our first attempt at the Scandinavian flick. We're in the Carrera S now. That was an easy lap, and no, no, not that hard braking. You lose control of where you're going. And I lost it. First, I and to the right. I'm backwards again. A lot harder. But why? Well, in the C4S, you can basically call on the all-wheel drive system to save you if you've over or undercooked it. Crank the wheel, slam on the gas, you don't need to use the momentum really when you countersteer. It's going to pull you in the right direction. That's why getting to experience the C4S and the C2S back-to-back -back is what makes this program stand out. Because the strategy on handling them once they're sideways is just different enough to highlight exactly what having all-wheel drive really means in snowy conditions. Even power drifting requires a different approach. In a rear drive car, you need to counter steer. But drifting a C4S requires that you keep the front wheels straight once you've lost traction. If you counter steer, the system will begin transferring power to the front wheels in order to pull the rear end back in line. In other words, if you want a four wheel drift, you need to four wheel drift. But that doesn't mean the two wheel drifts are impossible. It just means they're harder. So did I ever get it right? All right, I think this is going to be my last opportunity to try to get this right, so. Turns out the 911's famous rear weight bias only adds to the fun. You can feel the way momentum pulls the car around you, but at these speeds you can react accordingly. Of course, it's harder to catch the error once you've really begun to spin out, but they've got Cayennes and Macans on standby to pull you out of the snowbanks if it comes to that. At the end of the day, you can understand the physics on paper, but until you've experienced them in person, you can't train yourself to make good use of that information. Feeling a 911's rear end step out like a pendulum and using that weight transfer to slide around an icy chicane might seem like a microcosm, but I feel like it's a good way to increase driver literacy. I better understand what the seat of my pants is telling me, and that's valuable on any road.